Hey there, my anamorphic friends. Chitta Fahadang's here to talk a bit more about an unpopular subject, diopters. This one is about Vormax's 95 millimeter plus half diopter. I wonder why I even make these videos since so few people watch them, but hey, I gotta cover this stuff exactly for the people who care. Eventually, you might care as well. Hopefully the cookbook will convince you. Speaking of the cookbook, if you're a few chapters behind, after you finish this video is the perfect time to catch up. Or if you wanna extend your session and get more anamorphic knowledge, become a member of the channel to unlock at least four new videos right now, plus additional resources and support. Now that we're past the initial advertising trend, it's time to talk about this piece of glass. Maxim sent me this diopter to try out as he expands from making anamorphic adapters into making accessories to improve anamorphic shooting in general. Diopters are awesome because they help you keep the squeeze consistent, allow you to get closer to your subject and hack your lens's original minimum focus. This here is a 95 millimeters plus half single element diopter. It's pretty light at 55 grams and it comes with a hard case. The main goal of a plus half diopter is to give you middle range focus. This is the strength that you want to use for your medium shots and free flow close-ups. Your focus range will loosely go from two meters to roughly one meter, or from six feet to about three feet at minimum focus. The challenge is low power diopters like plus half are hard to come by, especially in sizes larger than 72 millimeters. So we're always looking for options as lots of us have lens fronts larger than, uh, well, 72 mil. For example, a handful of projection lenses need filters larger than that. Until now, you needed a lot of patience and time to find a plus half diopter that covered those and got you that mid-range. And this is where Vormax's diopter shines. I didn't have anything with a 95 mil front, so I had to use step rings and made a tough comparison by putting Vormax's diopter against an Iskarama plus half Acromat. It is an acromatic lens. Acromatic. And acromats are supposed to have much higher quality glass and performance. So let's look at the results. The Iskarama Acromat keeps the Suray 50mm super sharp and clean, shooting wide open. Vormax's, while holding up well at the fast aperture, exhibits a bit of magenta chromatic aberration on Finnegan's whiskers. Looking at a chart, it seems impossible to tell the difference. To be honest, I had to punch in by 300% and crank up the saturation to reveal that the Vormax diopter is a bit colder than the Iskarama and shows a tiny bit of chromatic aberration. Going all the way to the corners, we can also see a little bit of difference in terms of resolving power, with Vormax's being a bit blurrier. But again, we're at 400% zoom here. This type of difference does not break an actual shot in the field. Well, that was pretty good. Especially when you consider that Vormax's filter costs 139 bucks and you can get 10% off using the code BUDGET at checkout. The link for it is in the description. The Iskarama filter though, uh, I've only seen for sale twice and I paid about twice the price of this for it. Is the difference worth it? I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, but you made it this far, I think you'll like more of my stuff. So subscribe now before you forget. Have an excellent week, and I'll see you again live on Thursday. Chitta Fahadangs, out.